afternoon, ladies and gents. Uh, thanks for uh, attending today's press conference, or will be press conferences. Um, we've got all the guys here, for, so we're going to split the, uh, today's uh, press event in two. Uh, first and foremost, we've got uh, the undercard to, uh, to talk about and discuss. A fantastic pool of talent um, on show in Liverpool um, this, this Friday night at the Echo Arena. And we've got guys who are you know, banging on the door for world titles, banging on the door for British titles, um, some European champions, and on uh, top of the bill you've got world title fight. Um, this bill's got, got everything you can possibly hope for. Um, it's gonna, you know, you've got some 50 50 fights, you've got some exciting young prospects coming through, um, and uh, you've got guys who are, who are you know, as I said, banging on the door for world titles, as we'll discuss in a moment. On the, uh, on the table with me, uh, we'll start from my far right, you've got the uh, WBO European champion, um, Jack Cattrall. Um, we've got Jazzy Dickens, who will be fighting for the vacant Super Bantamweight Championship against the man to my left, Josh Whale. And you've also got uh, world ranked uh, contender Liam Smith uh, to my far left. Um, all the guys uh, here on this, uh, four guys here on the table, are you know, they're, they're knocking on the door to be you know, at the top of their game. Um, and for me, it's, it's probably you know, this city and all this, this region probably displays one of the finest uh, pools of talent that you've got in the country. Um, you've only got to look down the, the card um, to, to, to recognise what, what, how lucky we are as, as a company, how lucky you guys are as, as uh, press and fans that these guys do what they do and we get to be a part of, of their journey and, and develop their talent and, 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 uh, and work alongside them. Just to talk about Liam, first of all, uh, he ranks number six with the WBO, number five with the IBF, and number 13 with the WBA. So he's starting to get the recognition that his talent full, fully deserves. Um, we, he'll be fighting a 10 round contest on Friday. We did uh, propose quite a few names to the board for him to um, be fighting in a WBO ranked title fight, but unfortunately they felt that, uh, you know, for, for, for whatever reasons the board do things these days, um, they felt that you know, that, that some of the opponents weren't, weren't worthy of, of those titles, even though the WBO did. So um, he'll be fighting Robert Talleret uh, from Poland. Um, again, Leon can't afford to take his eye off the ball, um, and I fully believe he'll be fighting for a world title this year. Um, Jack Cattrall will be fighting Cesar David Inalev, unfortunately. Uh, Mr. Inalev won't be here till 1 o'clock, so we had to, well, at the airport till 1 o'clock. So we had to get on. Um, you know, these guys have got strict regimes this week, so we, we didn't want to keep um, all of our guys waiting around. Um, Jack had a great performance last time out against Tom Stalker. I won't go on about it too much in the, in the present company, I suppose. But um, you know, he's looking to kick on and, um, and fully cement in his, his position as a, as a top, top. I say prospect with, with all, all the um, you know, plaudits it deserves. I think Jack could be there and thereabouts by the end of this year, um, but you know, there's no rush. Um, and after conversations with um, with Lee Beard, there is no need to rush Jack at all. Even though he might be uh, might think differently, um, it's about developing a career and taking the right fights at the right time. But I'm sure Jack will uh, disagree with me. I'm sure he wants to get on with it. Um, and the two guys to my left and my right, um, Jazza and Josh. It's gonna, this is gonna it's got the makers of a terrific fight. Um, you know, Jazz has got you know, he's got a fantastic record at 18 and 1. And the only defeat coming against the <coughs> kid Galahad, who many believe is, you know, he was up there at world level already. But I think if um, Jazz can do the business on Friday night, that's something that you know will be banging on the door to try and get try and avenge that defeat. I think that's um, you know, one of the things that Jazz and his team have discussed with us, and I think that's something that he wants to put right in his career. Um, but I'm sure Josh has got plenty to say about that, and um, and we'll and we'll, uh, we'll uh, you know try and put put his name on the uh, on the map a bit more in um, on Friday night. Um, all the guys are here. If you want to say a couple of words each, and then um, I'll open the floor to questions. Jack. Yeah, now I'm just uh, training gone well. I'm excited to be back in Liverpool Friday night. Uh, Francis and Frank have delivered again and fighting for the WBO Intercontinental title this time. Another great title to keep moving forward. I'm excited. Thanks, Jack. Liam? Yeah, I just look forward to being back out again. Start of the year, first fight of the year, so hopefully no injuries. And so I think I'm in, I think I'm in better shape than I have been for the last two, three fights probably. So 
Or as Butler or Lutton, play to reduce on Friday. Thanks. Uh, if we start with Josh, please. Just, just what Oz have said, train dads, um, ready for Friday. They gave me life to boxing to be a British champion, so I get my chance Friday again. And um, I'll wear a ticket, so yeah, I'm ready. Thanks. And Jason? Thank you for the massive opportunity for fighting the pool in front of my own fans. And, and yeah, just thank you to all the people who supported me through the best camp, most enjoyable camp, and the hardest camp in my life. Thanks. All the guys are here, so if you'd like to uh, ask any questions, please feel free to do so. Liam, um, 2015 is going to be a big year for you. Do you really believe you will get that crack at the world title? Yeah, I never keep doing, doing what I'm supposed to do. And Everyone, everyone around me does, does, does their job and I do my job and win them. And yeah, I'm sure we can, can all do it together. And say that the route I want to go and I want to push on now and see, we'll see how good I can be. And just that start heading towards the world title. Do you mean say a world title next? But you know, I want to fight for people who maybe have just lost the world titles and use them as a, as a guide and see where, where I'm at. But I'm, I'm confident to ever, to ever fight them. No, I've got to deal with Jack, that last win really pumped you up and um, made your profile rise. Is it now kind of trying to build on that and trying to get your name out there more? Yeah, the last win uh, definitely raised my profile quite a bit. So, obviously fighting for a different title this time, but just about keep moving forward, keep looking forward, and uh, whoever's put in front of me, that's the next one. The main focus is uh, Friday <coughs> and see where we go from there. What would it mean to win the British title to you? It would mean a lot to me personally as a loss of the last time I lost four eight on the way up to the English said I'm gonna come back to you and that's why I'm doing so on Friday night I'm coming back to the British title. I'm looking forward to it. Do you feel like you learned a lot from the previous attempt? Yeah, I um, I learned through my first eighteen fights with that well, my first seventeen fights with that the fight I lost I learned most from that fight. So I'm um, looking forward to I've been I've been mm -hmm. active but I've been learning lots in the game and been I've been as busy as I was so I'm looking forward to showing money I've learned I've been televised for the last maybe year and a half so I'm looking forward to showing money I've learned. And what do you think to your opponent when you see that? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you confident you've got enough to get the job done? Oh yeah, of course. Josh, what do you think of Janna? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> 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 we can say what we want. Well, it? Yeah, it's it's going to get, get sorted on Friday, and it's for we both respect each other. We both boxing, we both fine enough to know what's going on. So um, that's how it goes in boxing. We'll see how it after, and that'll be it. Any more questions? Um, thank you very much for the um, availability for one-on-ones and we should have these quick photos as well. Thanks. Lovely. These guys are...